Hi guys and welcome to my first Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you how to make the functional lighthouse. Uh, basically I'm going to show you what it takes with redstone wire, redstones, and pistons. Um, and then I'll show you the final product that I'm working on right now. And we'll go from there. So I'm going to show you my creative mode first. Basically, I have a couple finished products. Uh, I'm trying different things, but I figured since this is my first video, I would show you what it looks like finished. Looks a little confusing, but not that bad. So, we'll get right into it, because I only have a limited amount of time. Right off the bat, we need to make a fig uh, circle type placement. Uh, it's four across and then two diagonal, four across, two diagonal, four across, and two diagonal, four across, and two diagonal. Now it should look something like this. It's pretty easy. Now <clears throat> the next step is to make it four high. So a total of one, two, three. And then basically you just circle this all the way around into four parts. All right, moving on to the second part now. Of course, it's getting dark, but I will make sure I do the best to make sure you can see this. We are four levels high on the dirt. Not too shabby. Let's put down some torches because it's going to get dark. And now, even though you've made this part, uh, it needs to come back down. Three of the four levels need to be deleted. And I'll show you why. You need room to walk underneath because you'll be putting pistons pointing down. Alright, now that you have a ring around the top, you grab your sticky piston and you place them pointing down all the way around just under the brick see that one's not pointing down and you have to make it up that high because you need to stand pretty much underneath to get them to actually point down you have to stand exactly underneath but any off placement and it usually doesn't work out too well alright see Okay, now that you've got them down, I'll try to show you without flying how you do this. Now you need to break the dirt off the top. Once you have all the dirt off the top, it should look like this. It's still your ring. And the next thing you need to do is fill in block around here, all the way around easiest if you fill in the whole thing so you don't end up falling in even though you will remove a couple blocks in the middle later so as soon as I'm done with this I'll get back show you guys what to do next all right the next portion that you want to do is actually fill it all in I think I said that and I started it and now it's all filled in looks good you will be breaking out parts later but don't worry about that now uh, basically what you need to do now is take your redstone repeaters and put them in a row in your four-way blocks there so it's gonna look like that your the, the arrows which you can't see because it's dark see if you're one, should be pointing away towards your piston not too bad. The next thing you need to do is take your redstone wire and connect all four of the repeaters. And basically it should look like that. They're not connected together all the way around, just the four individual repeaters. It's not too hard to do. The next thing we do is take more block and block off your corner corner pistons all the way around 
So basically, it should look like this now. Let's bring it to the side. You should have a three block, one, two, three blocks, all the way around. We'll take more redstone wire and drop them in. Now the whole thing is connected all the way around, which is not good, but we will fix it. So moving along, go to one corner like this, take one block, put it down, looks like that. Now second block, and you make a 4x4 four four square. Okay, you have to delete that block. Now it should look like this, all the way around. You can still see everything, we're good. Now, you have to take one block to block off the redstone. See how now it's not going four directions, it's only going three? Okay, four directions, three directions. And you do this on every corner. So, all the way around, should kind of look like a throwing star almost. All the way around on a different corner. So that blocks off the red wiring and it takes care of keeping these these circuits separate. The next thing you need to do is put down a redstone torch on every corner. See how this just lit up this one section? That's how you know you did it right. So then you move over to this corner. I only lit up that one section. All the way around. Now that it's all the way around, all your pistons should be down, and everything should be working functionally. Now you need more redstone repeaters, and you need to put them in order. All the way around, just like I'm doing. Okay, so take your redstone wire and connect all these together. Now, to make sure you're doing this right, your redstone torch should have a redstone wire going from it and to the left. And it should be, because these things have arrows, so it should be pointing towards the arrow. I can put a torch on this so you can see it. The arrow goes that way. Now if you turn this one around, and this is how you know if you did it backwards, is see how now you've only got one line? That's wrong. And it's actually connected to this one towards the front of the arrow. You want to keep it to the back of the arrow. So, goes like that, all the way around. The front of the arrow should not touch any redstone, should not be connected to any redstone wire. Now, the next thing is that you need to, this will be moving very fast when it gets moving. Not that it's an infinite circuit, so it's not going to burn out but you do need to spread it out just a little bit because it just doesn't look good if it's moving super fast. Now you can mess with the timing yourself, it doesn't matter. But basically once it's doing that, you are all set to go. The only thing left you need to do is get the timing right on the pistons down here. So basically what you're looking at is when you first put them down, they are all set at zero. So this is zero, or you can call it one, but it's set all the way in. Now you need this to go one, two, three, four. So then that's how long it takes to get the power to the redstone to the piston. So let's call this one one. Move one spot, two, two spots, three, and all the way out for four. So one, two, three, four. Okay? That's so that will go, the power will go to this one first, this one second, third, and fourth. Now it's not that it, the power is going to them all at the same time, but it's how long it takes to get the power through the repeater into the piston. So you have one, two, three, four. And you need to do this all the way around. And one should always be across from your redstone torch. So one, redstone torch. Now over here, same thing. The one you don't touch, or number one, will be across from the redstone torch. One. So this is one, this is two, three, four. Now you do this all the way around. One, two, 
3, 4. Now I've already done this one. So now we're back at the beginning, which means we're all complete. Now to finish this and get this moving, you need to give power to the top level. This is kind of tricky. The trick is, I'm going to tell you first, take a redstone torch, put it here, or in any corner, and as soon as you've put it down and the power starts to flow through these, you need to immediately break it and put down redstone wire. Now it's tricky, but you'll get it if you've done it. It takes a couple times. Now. See, it's going. So now we walk over here and take a look. Now you see that it's flowing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and it's moving smoothly. So, the next thing I'll show you is the finished product. Alright. For the last portion, the thing you're going to have to do is actually come over here, go down into the middle, break out a couple blocks to have some room. Then you're going to fill in the glowstone all the way around the outside. You don't want to put it under the piston, you want to put it behind the piston. Like so. Then you can climb back out of here. And what you'll do then is you'll surround everything just like this into block. You'll put block on the piston, underneath, I'm sorry, underneath the piston, and then you'll put block in front of the piston. So now when it's all the way around, you can't see any light. But if we get this thing flowing, you can see it open and close and open and close. And now what I'll show you is my final project, one that I'm still working on finishing the top, but I do have a working lighthouse in my multiplayer server. So hold on just a moment, let's get to that. And here we are in my multiplayer server. Uh, it is not live yet. My admin friends and I will be making this a live server very soon, but I wanted to build up a city first for everybody to use. Uh, so right now I'll show you my lighthouse. And there she is, one working lighthouse. Now I don't have a top built yet because we're not sure what we're going to put on the top yet. Now this is a little bit bigger than the one I was showing you. That's the basic. But basically what's going on there, it's going very slow. Actually because I have the speed turned all the way down. Uh, I'll definitely show you guys how to pick up the speed a little bit. Well, let's go over there. All right, we're at the lighthouse here. It goes way up to the top. Go take a look at it. Going up now, up to the top. You can kind of see what's going on in the bigger lighthouse. See, I've made it larger by adding a space in between. But I still have the one, two, three, four option. Everything else is still the same. But basically, by making one of each of these slower, or excuse me, faster, you can pick up the speed a little bit. Take you back to the outside. And when you come over to the edge, you can see that now it's moving faster. And that is my tutorial on how to make a working lighthouse. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave it in the comment section below.